Minister within the Ministry of Public Works, Diodat Indar, announced the commissioning of the one megawatt solar farm during a press conference at the conclusion of day one of the International Solar Alliance, ISE, fourth regional committee meeting. He said that the commissioning of the solar farm will bring the township closer to becoming 100% powered by renewable energy. Located behind the Letem Power Company, the solar farm will reduce the need for about 3,000 of the 12,000 barrels of diesel used annually by the power company. The project falls under the energy matrix diversification and strengthening of the Department of Energy program funded by the Inter-American Development Bank. Through the Prime Minister's office and the Guyana Energy Agency, GEA, Guyana is embarking on a number of initiatives that will see the country transitioning from the use of heavy fuel oil to renewable energy. In addition to the Letem Solar Plant, Minister Indar said mini hydros totaling 2.230 megawatts are on the way at Mokomoko and Kumu Region 9 and Keto in Region 8. Um, both um, DG Dr. Matur and, and Dr. William Dugan will accompany me to Letem to commission that one megawatt solar farm that we have in Letem. Other solar farms being established include a 0.65 megawatt at Madhya Region 8 and 0.6 megawatt at Leguan in Region 3. The 400 kilowatt farm has been completed and is operational in Mabaruma. Further, he noted that plans are on stream for 47.2 megawatts of solar programs. Under this initiative, 30,000 households in the hinterland and riverine communities will be equipped with a total of 150 watts solar panel batteries and lighting kits. This, the minister said, will add to the 33 megawatts solar farm that will be established in regions 2, 5, 6 and 10. These projects are aligned with the expanded Low Carbon Development Strategy, LCDS 2030, which was announced by President Irfan Ali in October last year. Consultations are ongoing countrywide on the draft document.